Hey there! Let's talk about another pen in my personal collection, and this is a Pilot Metropolitan. This is a Pilot Metropolitan that was given to me uh, by a student that we supervised. When I say we, I mean a colleague and I in her independent research, which means that, that students conduct research more or less independently, um, but under supervision of, of faculty. And at the end of that project, uh, which was a good project, was a lot of fun, uh, we, we went to um, uh, schools, to actually a school, I should say, and we, we um, children were taught a type of uh, relaxation technique, and we measured their heart rate variability, which is something I studied in my postdoc, that's why I was, I was in that particular project. Anyway, it was a fun project, and at the end of that project, the student gave me this, Pilot Metropolitan, which is a lot of fun, um, because um, it's a comfortable pen. It is a comfortable pen, and I've, I've always found it a nice model. Uh, it's also an affordable model, which is really nice. It posts securely. And it's, it's overall it's a very comfortable pen to use, I have found. Uh, this one has a, a steel nib. Sorry, I was just taking the cap off the back. It has a steel nib, it's a fine nib. It's definitely a very fine nib, right? Japanese fine, so kind of like, a, like an extra fine. Which I do use whenever I need very fine writing. Most importantly though, is that this pen has shown up in many, many videos because I use this as the size comparison pen whenever I review a pen. Because this is a common model, it's easy to, at least I think, relatively easy to obtain. Uh, and as a result, a lot of people have a bit of a feeling of what this pen is like in size or can fairly easily find out what uh, this pen is like in size. So comparing it to other pens, you get a pretty good feeling fairly quickly, I find for the size of that pen by looking at this. So, there is that. Beyond that, it's a fun pen. I like this one in particular because it has this band here with shapes on it, which I think adds just a little bit of visual appeal. Um, beyond that, I kind of like, I've always liked these little squeeze converters. Uh, they, they work well and they're, it's just something just a little different. So in all, I think it's a very nice pen, a, a, a comfortable pen to use, and a very simple, nice, everyday pen that's just nice to use. And of course, you can switch out the nibs very easily. So if you have a Plumix, for example, with an italic nib, it's very easy to pull that out, put that on here, and it works fine. So you have those options as well. In other words, it's just a fun pen, and I, I kind of enjoy using it. So. I thought I would put that in this series of videos as well. Very important. Let's see how it writes. Okay, let's talk about this Pilot Metropolitan. So, a fun pen, I think. As I said, I really like this center band with those shapes. I think it's just cute. Adds just a little bit of visual appeal. This may very well be the finest nib I own. I mean, Japanese fine, typically the equivalent of Western extra fine. Um, I'm sure you can hear the nice bit of feedback. Although I will say it's interesting because yes, there is certainly feedback. Yes, it's a very fine nib. I don't find this unpleasant to use. I don't find it particularly scratchy or anything. It's it's remarkably smooth for how fine it is, which is a good testament of the quality of the nibs that, that Pilot makes, I think. Overall, just a very fun pen, and I, I enjoy using it. It's a nice, simple pen, it works very well, and there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. So, does everything it's supposed to do. Also, I will say, these pens have some of the most satisfying clicks. Um, good writer, 
a good, nice, everyday writer. And that's, at the end of the day, I think what, what fountain pens are all about. So, there you have it. Um, hope this was useful. Another pen from my personal collection. And uh, I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye.